Hello everyone, Asperin here, Comedy 101, I'm going to do another review. And like I said before, it's not a part two, dude, because I already made this toy. But however, since the whole copyrights and everything that happened on YouTube, they shut off a lot of people's um, reviews or they mute it and everything. So we're going to do one on Leonardo. And uh, what happened is, I guess I have a song on her they they have copyrights too, so they should actually pretty much shut off my um, Leonardo uh, review. But I still have it up, so I, so I will put the video, the old video, on top underneath this um, video. So you're going to check out the old, the old school way. Well, however, um, I think it's good that I get to do this again because, like I said before, I know I've done this so many times. And uh, if you're watching, cool. Yeah, like you say, that's shop right here. Get some good stuff, some cheap, really cheap stuff that is really good for us. Um, he he uh, gave me the Leonardo sword, as you can see. Uh, I used to have the Leonardo sword when it first came out, but like I said in the past, I had a really messed up friend that would break my stuff and steal my stuff. So now that I have a, at least one Leonardo sword, that's awesome. And also, years years back, somebody gave me these Leonardo's from Amateur Collection. I need the belt, and I obviously need the arm, his right arms. Now, those of you who are probably looking at it like, well, they look the same. However, they're not. Some of you who are also been a good collector fans of turtles, you're probably thinking, oh, one's hard head, one's soft head. And that is correct, but there's some more stuff to it, and I will show it to you right now. Alright, so here's Leonardo. It always looks like he's in fear. Look at his eyes. Let's see how he looks. I love the original Leonardo, no matter what. Let's see, where is the uh, back end? 1988. As you can see, Marcus Studio playing his toys. And look over here. This is the reason why I say this is different. 1988 Mark's Replay Toys Made in. See that? See it right there? Matt Uncle? Or did I even pronounce that right? Yeah. Then look at Soft Head. Hard Head. Can't even squeeze it. And you got this one. 1988 Morgan Replay Toys Made in China. Which also, a little bit soft, you can squeeze it, but it's not as squeezable as this one. So you got Made in Monaco, or whatever you want to call it, I don't know where that is. And Made in China, and I guess this is made here. But um, you can tell the total difference, and this one, like I said, this one is just very squeezable. This is the very first made. I have another Leonardo back home, of course. I don't know why I didn't bring it, I thought I did, but... He's also a soft head, but he doesn't have, like, these guys over here. He's just regular made-in. I'm pretty sure you already can spot it right away, too. Look at the shells. See the front shell? This is, like, the mustard yellow. While these two are just the lighter yellow. As this is darker. Also, if you need to look more... Let's see. The skin color... It's also like a rubber kind of like. It has that faded kind of, I don't know how I put it, a faded kind of color of a green. Well, this is like a bright, shiny green color. And somebody keeps sending me a message on uh, Facebook. Um, let's see what else. The armor, like the, the battle wounds and everything are all the same. However, you can tell like this is a faded kind of waxy kind of color on her back, while this one is like a bright, shiny shell, plastic. You can see the, the, the cuts right here, see how thin the cut is right here? And over here, it's really thinner, it's like really thin as you can see the difference, I don't know if you could. And then you go over here. It's almost the same, but however, it's a little more thicker, more in with this one. See? Also, in case you're more curious, look at the back of the neck. See? 
This is that kind of rubber plastic like. See how the, the out part underneath it, it goes over underneath the, the neck part on the bottom? See it? And then you got this one, the rubber piece. See the neck part right here, how it comes out? However, this doesn't have it. It's like it's tucked in. Alright, people, now, check this out. If the turtles has been in the sun too long, like Swap Me people does it, or the flea market people does it, and you can't tell the difference because, you know, the sun actually makes it a little bit weaker on the forehead, so it's easy to squeeze. Go like this. Go to the body leg or the arm part. Feel around. If it feels like it's uh, like you're holding up a candle, then it's the soft head ones. Because the plastic ones, the hard head ones, do not feel like that whatsoever. It's just like regular plastic feel. It's really rough, really, um... Like, not really waxy feel, uh, I'm trying to think of a name of it. Just feel like a, like a plastic, to make it simple. Alright, so we have the new version right here. As you can see, the sword is completely different. So I have the same with that little dot in the middle, where it's supposed to be painted. Same thing with that part right there. The, but the bottom piece of the handle is more circled than this over here. It's more of a square feel to it. As you can see, it's a lot more thinner. Right there. I get worried about these things right here, the little white lines around it. It's because you bent it a little bit, and uh, that could be bad. So take good care of it. Be careful with it, because it won't snap. Um, however, if, as you can see already, is that they are the same exact color of skin tone. The only difference is, the only difference is, is that, of course, they dark, this is a darker color of the same color, and they line up with this one. So, don't worry, people, I know people are arguing about this on uh, chat of the groups, but they are the same color, people. And those of you who are just discovering it, I've been saying this for, for years now, not years, but you know what I mean, that the new version has three toes. The old version had two toes. So, just in case you're wondering, just in case. And those of you who are collecting, um, also I want to say before I start finishing this line, um, I will do another Leonardo. I still have a Leonardo back home at my parents' um, house. Um, it's never been open. The, the out part of it, the punch part, is not punched out. So you'll see another review of Leonardo. And a 25th anniversary Leonardo. I still have it. I have one in my room, but since it's supposed to be just regular Leonardo, I'll do a review on that maybe like later on in the future because I have one out and one is still in this package of the 25th anniversary Turtle Toys. But, however, if you have the fan club form that's still in this package, that is going to be worth a lot of freaking money if the collectors are fair with you guys. Believe me. Um, Carhead are not totally rare. I mean, you see them all the time, but the soft head ones are the rarest ones, and those are going to be worth a little bit more money than the hard heads because, like I said, the soft heads are the original makers of the Ninja Turtles, and when they realize the heads are easy to break off, but you got to be careful, yeah, they're a little bit, they had to refix it, so when they made a hard head, so it'll be harder to break off. So, if you have any soft heads, take good care of them, please. Um, also, there's a third series of Leonardo, as we all right know, this is 2012, and then there's also uh, a 1988, and of course, with these guys also, and we all right know about the 2008 ones, because it's the 25th anniversary, but however, the third series came out in 1998, so look at the back of it, see if you have the 1998 uh, Leonardo. Those are a little bit more, ex a little expensive too, because those are a little bit harder to find. Because all we could find is in that 1988 hardhead turtles. But if you have the hardhead, it's not softhead. They're all hardheads of the third series. They, they kept it the way it's supposed to be. And some of the box is up to like a little bit more pricier, but not as pricier as the softhead ones, the original, and including with the um, the fan club card. Please, for God's sake, do not open up. Just get that thing. If you try to send it, I'm pretty sure they won't send anything back. But, for my Leonardo uh, runt, whatever you want to call it. I love Leo. I do. Um, 
Saturday, um, people, I will be going to Frankenstein's. If you're going to be there, feel free to say hi to me because uh, the original voice cast of Ninja Turtles will be there. And, of course, Leonardo, the original Leonardo, will be there also. Mr. Clam Clark. You know, so uh, he's going to be there. I don't, probably going to have him sign some Leonardo stuff. And maybe if I could, I don't know if he's going to charge or anything. But uh, probably get it on video. I'm going to do my best to get things on video. Including my Glenchel. And Letterhead's going to be there. And Donatello's going to be there. The second verse of Donatello. Not the original Donatello, though. But I'll get him to sign Leonardo soon. Yes. Alright, so that's my little review. And, um... Hope I have a little some good information. I know I did a lot more in the old one, so I will put the old uh, review of Leonardo underneath this one. Once you have the link, then you get to get into it. But if you don't, then it's kind of hard to look for it. YouTube crap. Anyways, um, put your links. I mean, your links. Put your comments down on it. Tell me what you guys think with the original Leonardo version. Not, I want to say versus because I do like the old new version of Leonardo also. But tell me what do you think? Which one do you like? Tell me your history when you have it. What what, what did you first thought about when you first got this when you were a kid? Or this one in case you're younger. Um, did you not know about uh, Made in Mako, whatever that place is, whatever it's at? You know? Or Made in China. You know, there's there's different kinds out there and so it's not just a hard head and it's not just a soft head. They're also different made in everything else. Um what else? Also, I just realized what shirt I was wearing. So, Sean, if you're watching from, uh, well, if you're the, the new Raphael, the Goonies! Sorry. Um, yeah, and also, check this guy out. You gotta check him out. Is it upside down? No, it's upside down. Check him out. It's a really good shop. Has some really cool stuff on it. I put his um, banner on the end of the reviews, so you can go ahead and check him out. Uh, yes, I will be at Frankenstein Saturday. I hope, I go I hope I have enough money because they do charge, you know, for autographs and take pictures with them. I hope. So I'm going to see if I can bring some of my stuff so it'd be signed for I don't know how much. But, uh, hopefully I have enough money. It's free to get in, just walk in and you see them and then you got to pay to get the sand line and stuff like that. Blah, 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 stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. Um,. Yeah, so add Leonardo to your collection. You gotta have the original Leonardo to your collection. If you're gonna be a neutral um, collector, you gotta have the original. You know, you gotta have the original to be a collector of turtles, because, you know, about the originals, they want to be no line across for the other ones. And of course, I know some people are like, mm, whatever, but I like the new version of Leonardo. I like the new toys. I love the new ones. The 20s. <laughs> Can we talk today? To the. 2012 action figures. God, what is wrong with me today? I can't even talk at all. Um, as you may know, also that the joints are way different compared to the new one. Because like all we could do is the arm lifts up and it moves at the elbow part, as you can see, and the head moves and the leg moves. That's it. That's all we got for our own old school turtle toys. Compared to you guys, have like all those joints and everything else. Uh, we'll put him on uh, the link underneath this so you can check out the new stuff. I've been seeing that for quite a while now. Um, there's really nothing different with uh, the headband, really. It's pretty much all the same. Um, hopefully I can find another right arms for my Leonardo's and glue them on there. Or maybe find a belt for them and the weapons for them. So, um, yeah. So, uh, also I want to say the belts are... Blue way different. I don't know if you noticed about this one. It's, the spell is kind of short for what it is. But d there's loose ones and then I got put this one out there before it times out. Is that the belt when it comes off there's a little loop. I don't know if you can see it. See that dot right there? You had to punch it in there with the tweezers and pull out the, the bump in the middle for you to stay because it's not the easiest to put these on. Believe me. Compared to now these days and the 2003 Leonardo is that you had to punch it in there because there's a hole inside the shell. You just shove it right in there and it actually will stick compared to these pain in my butt ones. Slash is the worst ones to put up the belt on. So, uh, anyways, I want to say if you do, Brent, if you're watching, seriously, thanks for the belts and thanks for all the other gifts. I will do more review on them with all the weapons you gave me. Including, I got uh, another guy who sent me, uh, um, some, uh, 
what do you call it, uh, more accessories also. And if you're still looking, thank you so much. This is so cool. I put your stickers on here, so if you can check them out. So, uh, SarahCrazyMusic.com. So, uh, yeah. And my turtle, I call it my turtle bible. I hope that doesn't offend you guys when I say that. But it's, it's just all the stuff I came across, and I write them down the differences, the years, and the different kind of color of their weapons, and stuff like that. So, anyways, I'm babbling. So, uh, yeah. Till next time, people. Take care, and uh, happy hunting, everybody. See you later. It's eBay retards again. Alright, so let's do something. There is it. Alright. A Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder Mobile Rare Ship. Ships from USA. Here's a guy who's selling it. Not doing very well, if you ask me. He's asking for $160 for this. And free shipping. Are you guys ready for the picture? Here it is. Need some shoes, says Jordan. Alright. What the hell am I looking at? Yeah, I'm getting kind of annoyed by this one. There, there's, it says Ninja Turtles, Shred Mobile, Rare. There's something Shredder about this, and something Ninja Turtles about this. Ooh, look at it. Saw the Jordan holding up a Nike shoes from the 90s. This is not a Ninja Turtle shoes. And the thing is, it's nowhere on a, on a, on a site that says Ninja Turtles pictures. Or anything like that. There's nothing. There's nothing Ninja Turtles about this. It just says Ninja Turtles Shredder Mobile. It's in excellent condition. Very hard to find because it doesn't exist, doofus. This is on a statement. I was like, really? Wow. Thank you, Crook. Thank you for uh, showing us this. Put your comments down. This is really stupid. I mean, turn his turn his dude in. Seriously, he's a crook. Ooh, Ninja Turtles shoes that doesn't exist. Thank you.